Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain Talks as 1 and 2 of Oni Masakasuri. So honestly, really, since this is going to be about Shinobu, of course, hello puppy, um, just imagine if I did not watch the movies, if I had waited and sold the second to last series to officially watch the movies, like, if, <laughs> I would have been probably hella confused at this point of course I'm gonna be confused but maybe like uh, some of the questions that I had about specifically the movie might be answered in this series I don't know but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three and hold on stupid mouse <laughs> no it's still be done is three two one go There's that chick again. Demon. Yeah, and the diabetic loving vampire. <laughs> so, like, what? Is Shinobu going to get her own opening? Are we finally going to hear her sing? Probably not. What's she writing a cow? Oh, my God. But then it makes me wonder what this ocean is going to have to do with this as well. She knows shit. Ocean will probably told her shit. I mean, come on now. Okay. An interesting opening for her. But uh, I mean, I get it that she doesn't like probably what her voice actress doesn't sing or whatever. But it's a very different take. I was not imagining this. I mean, did I think it was going to be colorful? Hell no. Hell, she don't even need words to hers. And watch that. What if episode two has words? Who the hell could that be? How's that my way? Um, her second one could have like words in it. We'll get to episode two. Oh, literally right after when they came back? This has to be. Yes. Right after y'all came back from being in time. Doing your time traveling adventures. Here, go lay in your bed, babe. Good boy. Thank you. But see, hold up. Did he even give her the backpack yet? She doesn't. No, she's not wearing it. Yeah, because you gotta give her her butt backpack. Mm -hmm. I mean, how in the world do you forget your backpack? You know, that's like your staple to yourself, her essence. <laughs> like,
Yeah. That is true. Yeah. You're missing your shell and your shell is your butt bag. You sure? You would think that big ass backpack has like important things. Not like documents or some shit, but like things that are important to her. Memories of her mom, pictures, whatever. You just want to stay out here by yourself? Okay. <laughs> so what was this time? Why would he bug it? Well, because of those reasons. But go stuff to eat, right? I mean, eat something. History. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. What was it? Just go. Is it still following you? Okay, is it bigger though? Okay. Exactly. So, like, what if he crashes and then you get fucked up?
See, even with my oil like saying it's getting closer, I still want to see the damn thing coming towards them. Damn, like how far are they gonna drive? Like drive, right? <laughs> like all the way to the damn shrine or some shit. Because uh, my guess is they've gone pretty fucking far. Uh. Yes. Maybe because they went back in time and such, that darkness, whatever that is, it, it's just, it, it's after her and her only. I don't think they want Agaraki. Like, why would they want Agaraki? Then they would possibly want Shinobu as well? Uh, it's everywhere they go. <gasps> Girl, what the hell are you doing here? It's been a while since we've seen you. But yeah, you guys sit me. Darkness. Yeah, you were kind of think that. Oh, she fine. She just knocked out. Yeah, even though like for you it's longer, for me it's like kind of shorter because that was like four weeks ago. But what, <laughs> what happens if you can't keep running them? Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> She get a freaking thing in Madoka Magica. Like, come on, it would have been so much better. But they were like, no. Which fucking sucks. I mean, they still have a possibility to do it, but no. Because technically her care, her voice is already in the game, so...
Probably the weirdest phenomenon I've ever seen. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, a fucking dragon. Somebody's secretly a dragon, or, like... I don't know, I can't really think of anything else. So maybe the darkness is really after all of them, and not just her. I don't know. Talking out of my ass. Why? Where the hell is she? Because of spoilers, right? Or reasons. True. But the thing is, we, we won't know until she wakes the fuck up. So eventually, let her in be fucking nighttime. Fucking ask her, explain to her what the hell it is, and then maybe she might know. Yeah, the girl with the glasses. The girl who kind of reminds me of Henri from Dorara sometimes. Whoa. Yeah. And besides, I would assume that you would have waited until she never would have woke up so that you would at least want to talk to her. Yeah. Anything with a straight fucking face with no damn emotion. Like, I love her so damn much. I just want that one figure of her. That's like $300. Am I going to pay $300 for a figure of one of my best girls? Probably, knowing myself, because it's Sorami's voice actress. So you gotta love her. She's so cute. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? I mean, okay, so this darkness thing, whatever the hell it is, it, it's just, 
I feel like it is just going to absorb these characters one by one by one by one until it's just Shinobu and Agaragi. That's it because it, it's it's supposed to focus on really just everything after what has happened because they went back in time. So eventually, since they fixed the timeline and they're giving Mayu and her book bag back, something got caused because of that. This darkness thing. I don't know. That could be the Shinobu from the other side who you know made all those damn vampires and yeah shit that happened in that I, I have no fucking clue this is only episode one of oni and i'm just like what the fuck is this then you got freaking oceano's niece plus my other best girl up in this show and of course she's gonna probably have something to do with the plot this time instead of dealing with um the situation where uh they had to deal with my and going back in time and stuff because she was only really in one episode but I think at the same time, she's really only going to be in these first two, but she's not going to be in the last fucking episode. They're just going to do something with her in the next one, or maybe she'll be in all four. I have no fucking clue. Just, I need answers. That's all I fucking need is fucking answers. Episode two kind of will give me some answers, but three and four will probably give me the shit that I need the most. But now, you know, since Mayo is knocked the fuck out. It's changed. Yeah, she's still asleep. Okay. Don't try it. Oh. Thank you, Shinobu. About the darkness. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. So then no matter what, it's after you. But see, Shinobu, the only way you're going to be able to, like, for 
them to figure out how to stop this darkness, whatever the fuck it is. You have to talk about it, though. And, and there's just the preview. And that's it. We ain't gonna know until episode two in like a couple seconds from now. Fuck it, because there is no captions. I'm just gonna keep talking. Okay, so yes, whatever this darkness is, the fact is that she saw it around the time when she made her first vampire. What I'm hoping that with episode two is they go a little bit more, like do like a weird flashback of having the whole episode of her of Kisha Underblade. That's what I really, truly want. As much as I like Sheena Boo, I still want to see Kisha Underblade because she's still one of my other personal favorites, even though she, like, they're the same person. They're still equally badass, even though one is like, <laughs> they're kind of, yeah, they're both like equally OP in a way. But still, at the same time, you just want to see like more things. And I'm hoping that with this next episode, it goes a little more in depth with her and her first vampire that she truly made, if they're going to show that ish. But then at the same time, they're going to go between um, past and then present, back and forth at the same time. So they may do, like, if the episode's, like, 26, maybe even 27 minutes, I'll even 24, they're only going to really maybe show, like, 15 minutes of maybe her doing stuff into the past. And stuff. I don't really know. But, like, I, that's, it, it's something that I've wanted ever since I saw the movie. When she was sitting there explaining to him about her past i kept wondering i was like why the hell and i don't think i said it when i finished the last movie but i think maybe a week or two after i recorded and moved on from the movies and stuff and kept wondering if they were ever really going to do something else on shinabu i was like why the hell did they never really truly show us a lot of flashbacks they showed us like a little bit and really nice artwork like don't get me wrong like the, the art for the show is fucking beautiful and you can see how they did the same thing for uh fate last encore when i watched that like a couple of weeks ago um and shit but like i what i wanted to truly see was her the way she was formerly when she was an adult and then seeing whoever the fuck who who was the first person that she made and then seeing everything else transpired until ultimately his death not really essentially how were you seeing it in like the 2d art and then something like that and then but bada, bada bang he's dead she moves on from it even though technically she kind of feels a little heartbreaking by it still honestly and then this darkness coming back into her and seeing what engulfed her and what exactly did she fucking do but i ain't gonna know until episode two but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for the second episode okay episode two and three Two, one, go. because of the darkness, right? And then he found your first servant, right? This is, I have a really weird feeling that this is going to be really sad. I mean, because we know that, yes, he died, but I think this is going to be real. This is going to probably make her 
make me like I already love Shinobu a lot. She's in my top faves, but I think this is gonna make me really like almost emphasize with her a lot specifically because I mean the movies like really did that, and I'm just thinking like there's gonna be a part two to this. <laughs> like okay. You're really gonna make me cry over this girl because I mean, like after I finished the movies, I did do have like a really good cry after I finished, and I was like, "Damn, I kind of feel bad for her as a character because she's that one that I didn't think would have had like such a backstory such as that." But mm. it's just going to get worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get so fucking worse. And I'm guessing the whole episode is just gonna be like this. But you know what? That's okay. I'll take it. <clears throat> I don't know, because like the way the art style looks kind of reminds me, like, if you've seen some of the oil paintings. But then it makes me wonder, like, did she do something to have her god role taken away from her? Essentially possibly turning her first servant? I can't believe Milo is still fucking sleep. You you would think she would wake up, but like mm -mm. that girl got plans. Like, nope. Okay. Because nothing never lasts forever. She might be knocked out until episode three, four. I mean, well, that's good, but, you know, I bet you some people were so pissed about it, like, oh, why in a rain once under the moon? But, you know, something probably happened. But there has to be, like, a turning point where people had, like, turned on her, and I feel like it is coming.
Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, if she wanted to, really, she would have gone ahead and said it to him. But I think, you know, maybe she just doesn't want to. Mm-hmm. And that's the story that they eventually have, that she has right now, currently. I mean, hell, you probably would have had a better life as a god than you are right now. I mean, because everything that she's done, let it here, being with him. And who knows what she would have had as a god. She could have had her own shrine, like Yata. Okay. Because what else could you do? Mm. That there were no left, huh? Because I'm guessing that darkness took him. And 
and they were gone too? See, but that's weird. You would assume that, like, going to your own village, no one's there. But then going to someone else, there should be people there. So, essentially, that thing took everyone and just left her alone. Okay, so that makes sense. So, whoever knew her, it dis they disappeared. Your servant, your servant. Well, of course, what else would be the cause of it? Because it seems like when it returned, well, it, it has. It's like I said, it's going to take everybody one by one until it's just Agaragi and Shinobu. Because essentially, it's still after. Holy shit, damn. Like all her veins and everything on her, like holy shit. And we all know how that ended up. Yeah. Because he died, right? Yeah. But then wouldn't he be somewhere else as well? Okay, what exactly was left? Just the sword? His right hand. So did you bury the hand? I mean, the shit, what else would you do with it? How 
Hold on, wait, 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 wait. How the hell can you do that with just a damn hand? I mean, did she let Okay. And until his right hand is dead. You really got what the fuck? <laughs> There's like six minutes left. Who the hell is like that? What the fuck type shit is that? Like no, 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 no. No. That is some bullshit. Who the fuck ends with six minutes left? I mean, essentially, the episode ain't over. But now, really seeing her backstory and learning more about it, like, Jesus. Like, I mean... Oh, that's sad. The things... That, and it's sad that she... That, you know, all of this that she said was left out in the movie, but I, I, essentially, you know, they had to do it, and... It's a little fucked up because I wish we knew about this in the movie, but of course, reasons why. But the fact is, when she did that jump, all that was left of him was his fucking hand. She drank the hand for and essentially turned this dude into a motherfucking vampire. I, this, I'm like, hold up. Because I know essentially when you do it, you just bite them and then you just suck out all the blood and then next thing you know, they're going to probably be knocked out or whatever and then buttering, buttering a couple of days later. They're a vampire. This dude only had a fucking hand left. How can you be a vampire? It, it, like, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say okay. I enjoyed the episode. It was fucking good. Let's see what the hell is happening next. Well, yeah. Like how you were with our hobby? But yeah, we know that. What the? Well, yeah, because who else would he blame it on? Possibly. I mean, at the same time, he, he probably was, like, grateful that he did, she did save him, but at the same time, no. Because once everything came to light, you know, he had nothing but anger. And then he died.
Okay. Yeah, she might have the saddest fucking story of all. I was ultimately not fucking expecting all of that in this second episode. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Why is it that the best girls have, like, the saddest stories? Like, no matter who they fucking are, their backstories are fucking hurtful as hell. And it's just like, uh... You just emphasize with them. You just want to hug them and be like, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. But it just fucking hurts. You just feel so bad for her. It's something that she's kept inside for such a long time. And now that she's like bringing everything to light and telling Agarakim about this, it's like she's finally, she can finally let go of it, but she still has that pain, that sadness, that remorse, and everything that she did. Speaking with, you know, the first servant that she made. I mean, you know, you have to feel bad for both of them because of the fact is it, it seemed like he didn't want to come back. And then eventually when she told him everything, of course, who else can you blame but her for everything that has transpired? And even thinking about the darkness that has swallowed all these people, you would automatically think, okay, so yeah, you a vampire. You've done this to me and that. You must have did all this shit too. And with him just committing suicide and her just watching him burn to death, like, and the fact is that she didn't do anything, like, yeah, that gotta hurt. I mean, oh, God, like, even though I'm smiling right now, I, I can't imagine, like, if I was in her place and just feeling those emotions, like, girl, boy, man, woman, I don't know what the fuck I do. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes one and two of Ono Managatari. If you guys, uh, Ono? Oni. Oni Managatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for the finale. I mean, the biggest thing is now I'm wondering is essentially since she's now explained her backstory to Agarayun, the biggest thing with these last two episodes is how are they going to stop this darkness swelling, swallowing black hole looking thing i mean we ain't gonna know until next week but there, there's a lot of possibilities i mean one thing is if we just put her in there i mean but essentially i don't want you to go because it'll feel weird if she's not here in the show anymore but i don't think she is gonna like somebody's gonna do a sacrifice but it's not gonna be like a sacrifice where it's like they're gonna die and they're gonna stay dead it's gonna be a necessarily of a sacrifice where they are they're gonna die but then they're gonna come back to life so one of the two or essentially both of them will make that sacrifice they'll die and then they'll come back to life and everything will be fine again it's just as of right now as of episode two we have a bad ending but i don't think with three and four it'll essentially end with a bad ending but i ain't gonna know until next week but until then i will see you guys all next time bye